Okay, so for all of our dumbbell benching, so I'm gonna show both the regular stability ball dumbbell bench and the alternate arm stability ball dumbbell bench, okay? The reason we're on a stability ball is it's gonna make us engage our core a little bit more, okay? Which, but it only will happen if we're utilizing the, the ball correctly, really if we're in the proper position with our hips and where our shoulders are resting, okay? So what I mean is, if I go to lay on this ball and I'm laying too much on top of it, so look at where my hips are right now, I'm not getting any of the benefit of the instability of being on this ball, right? As opposed to when I get on, if I let those hips move away from the ball and now I'm resting on, on the uh, stability ball with more of my shoulders and my neck. My hips are away from the ball. Right now my butt is engaged. I'm squeezing both my butt cheeks and I'm locking out those hips, okay? So that's, again, the position that we, we, we wanna get into, okay? From there, the rest of the exercise should look just like it would if I was laying on a bench, okay? So my hips are locked out. Once I'm in that position, I feel like I am locked in. Then I'm gonna worry about moving the weights. Again, for a regular dumbbell bench, both at the same time. For our alternate arm, one goes up at a time and the other. And throughout the exercise, especially on the alternate arm, I wanna make sure that belly button is pointed straight up. I'm not tilting, okay? Lock in that torso, lock in that hip position, and then we're moving the weights for both our regular stability ball dumbbell bench and our alternate arm version.